Hi there! Before we get started, I'd just like to remind you that if you're interested in any of my collages or freebies or online class, please check out the link here on the screen and in the description box. Thanks for joining and let's get started! As you may know, I love paper and collect all kind of paper for my collages. I'm often asked how I store my papers. I don't have a special system. I like to use all kind of boxes. Shoe boxes or cardboard boxes. Small ones and bigger ones. Like this one. I use such small boxes for my ready-made letters. I use file folder. This one is for vintage newspaper. These large wooden trays are perfect for me. I can collect all scraps from a project and then put it on the shelf. It's the same size like my shelf, so it works like a small drawer. I use them for paper scraps and leftovers, but also for, for some of my tissue paper prints, like in this one. I really like this kind of trays for smaller collage pieces because you can stack them. You can use them to collect pieces for a project like I did in, in this one. Or you can sort smaller collage pieces by color or use it for cutouts. You also can use cover from shoe boxes or other cardboard boxes as I used here for this paper. And this one is painted tissue paper. And here are some scraps. My working space is very limited, so it's important to be flexible. With those boxes and trays, I can take out the boxes to get an overview of all my materials. After working with it, I can easily put it back on the shelf when I need the space for something else. But this is only the way I do it. Your storage system should fit your needs. So let's switch the camera to my working table to show you how I create some collage paper. So I like to use the stuff around me and always re I recycle things. Here are a few papers. I used for playing and experimenting. or picking up colors from paintings or cleaning my gel blade or brayer. Some painted paper, some brown paper. An easy way to create unique collage paper is to use acrylic ink and paint marker. I like to use this De La Roni acrylic ink in indigo and this is turquoise and cyan, raw sienna. This is um, olive green and red earth. And here are some paint markers. These are from 
Montana. And you can buy these little bottles to refill them. That's quite nice. And here I have some Posca marker. A bit smaller. When you have such leftovers with a lot of white on it, you can do washes with acrylic ink or transparent acrylic paint so you can still see what's going on underneath. Let's see, try out for this one. I would use the raw sienna. This is water, clear water. And draw the henna. You can mix in other colors or you can do some drop to create some variety. Or use the pour ink. So on this one, I would use turquoise, Mix in some indigo. So let's see how it will look like when we use here the red earth. A very nice earthy color. This one we can use the green. Oh, still 
have one here. Now we have a very nice variety of different shades of green. When I have papers with plain colors like this, blue and this brown one, it's, it's great for making pattern. I use the paint marker and create all kind of pattern, lines, dots, scribbles or even letters. Those markers are easy to use. I really like those papers to create a transition from one color to another in my collages. Here we have this blue paper with some black on it and we can use it like this. Stripes. Let's see how this will look like. Those black stripes are like a bridge between both colors. The same here, we have the red and we have some brown paper with red on it. You can connect the red with the red. And then those stripes are the connection to the white. So your eye can easily move from the red over the brown to the white. I really like this for my collages as I like to combine organic shapes and pattern. You can use those marker to write on paper. Your handwriting is very unique, so is the collage paper. You bring in a lot of personality to your collage work. So I hope this is giving you some ideas how you can have some fun creating and collecting collage papers. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.